Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and this really is episode number 75. <laughs> I've done that a few times. I ac accidentally said the wrong number for the wrong episode, but whatever. It doesn't matter. No one's actually keeping count except me. <laughs> but um, this one is a little bit late. I think it's just a little over a week late. But um, I've had a very exhausting week. Uh, a bunch of different things going on uh, in my personal life. Nothing horrible, but just annoying things and stressful things and then on Wednesday I think it was Wednesday Jesse fell right here actually where this corner is he fell while he was taking a drink out of a bug juice <laughs> so I imagine his head was up you know swinging it because it's like in a bottle with a spout anyways um, and he fell and he hit the baseboard on the floor with his hand on the left side and he cut a big gash in his head and <laughs> uh, he ended up having to get staples put in his head so that's been super stressful <laughs> he's fine now and actually right after it happened you know right after we got home from the hospital uh he was fine he hasn't acted like his head's even been hurting him um so that's good but it was still super stressful because i was here home alone devin had already left for work when that happened so um after the initial panic of my kid being you know bleeding a lot <laughs> I, uh, I calmed down and, you know, I put a towel on his head to make, to try to stop the bleeding. And once I realized that it wasn't, you know, gushing blood and, you know, death is imminent, <laughs> I calmed down and, um, I called my mom and she came and took us to the hospital, which is literally right down the road. I mean, it's not even half a mile down the road. We live right down the road from the hospital. That's why in a lot of my videos, you could probably hear sirens in the background because the hospital's right down there. There's a fire station right down there. And then this way is where the ambulances park until they get a call. <laughs> the ambulance bay or whatever. So we're super close to help. <laughs> but um, it was still very scary for me and for Jesse. And, uh, you know, obviously he was scared when we were at the hospital. He's never been in a situation like that at all. He's never been hurt or uh, anything like that. So when we were there... Uh, they looked at it and assessed it and all that stuff and they said that they that it needed to be closed because it was so big that it needed either um, stitches or staples and the doctor told me he said you know they're both good options but staples would be faster because stitches you know they'd actually have to sit there and sew it so uh, I decided on staples <laughs> uh, because I wanted to get it over with as soon as possible so they, they had to wrap him up in a sheet and then a nurse was like laying on top of him, which he obviously wasn't happy about. He was screaming and then they numbed him, which made him cry more because of the shots in his head. And then they, um, they stapled it and like in two minutes it was over and he was fine. <laughs> and, uh, after I calmed him down, he was eating a popsicle and fine. And then when we got to come home, he's been fine ever since. He hasn't even acted like his head hurt. I did give him Tylenol once, um, the day of because he took a nap afterwards and then when he woke up he was a little grumpy and I asked him if his head hurt he didn't say if it did or not but I think it was a little sore but he's been fine now and he's he's at his grandma's right now playing um well he's probably it's almost nine here he might be playing he might be asleep I don't know <laughs> I, I last talked to her an hour or so ago and he was um drinking some chocolate milk so I know he's in good hands <laughs> but anyways well all that aside um it's just been a really stressful week because it was other stuff and then that happened and that was you know terrifying obviously it was his first big boo-boo and I know there's probably gonna be more in the future but uh, the first one and I'm sure every one of them was scary so okay that's out of the way and then I had planned to update my Etsy shop earlier this week um, I had started bags Saturday actually and just so much stuff just kept happening every single day something happened um, that I kept getting interrupted because I was actually sewing. I was in the dining room area sewing when he fell. We had just been in the fr at the refrigerator. I got his juice out for him, handed it to him. I went and sat back down and he walked from the kitchen to here where this corner is and fell. So uh, all that happened while I was sewing and then just some other stuff that I'm not going to talk about happened. And so I finally got done with the project bags Thursday and then Today, it's Friday, uh, the March 22nd, I think, um, I sat down and was making the Notion pouches and my sewing machine messed up. And um, it was something to do with the bobbin. Uh, so I took, I was trying to take the screws off. I couldn't get the screws off, so I gave up and I ended up watching TV. I watched like um, 
a couple episodes of The Outsiders, the old TV show, not the movie, which the movie is awesome, but the TV show is pretty good too. <laughs> but because I was, I was angry and frustrated, so I, I ended up getting a snack or something. I was watching TV, and then I, I went back to the sewing machine, and I had to use a screwdriver bit or whatever and wire pliers to hold it because uh, I didn't have a screwdriver that would fit in the space. Um, and I finally got the screws off, and then what it was is it was just um, some thread had been like all knotted up and tangled in there so i cleared it all out and put the bobbing thingy back in there and it worked fine so i finally finished all the bags <laughs> but it took me all day of prepping them and then doing it and then it messing up and then after it got fixed i went ahead and went ham and finished all of them so now all of them are finished and they're in the shop <laughs> and i'll show them to you later uh if you're interested and if not there's a link below you can just go check it out right now but, uh, yeah, so onto the crochet slash knit because there's the knitted thing. But I have two finished objects this week and I have a new whip that I started. I'm only going to share the two finished objects and the new whip because I haven't crocheted at all this week other than the finished crochet project I made earlier this week, I think. And the new whip I started um, Wednesday night, I think it was Wednesday night. Yeah, because Devin, after Jesse fell, uh, Devin left work early, you know, obviously. He he had literally just gotten to work. He clocked in, and then I think four minutes later, clocked back out to leave because that's the time frame that it happened in. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and he stayed home the rest of the night, so I started that crochet project that night. But, yeah, so we'll get into the finished objects. I'll go ahead and talk about the knitting one real fast because <laughs> cause it's simple and it looks horrible. <laughs> I missed, I did a pretty good job. I used to knit. I don't know if y'all know that. Some of y'all do. I knitted way before I crocheted. Well, I knitted first. I guess I'll say that. I was like 9, 10, 11 when I was a knitter. And then around 12 is when I started crocheting. And then I've been crocheting ever since. I've knitted in between, you know, like dishcloths <laughs> here and there. And um, I wanted to pick it up a lot when I was pregnant with Jesse, But I waited too long and I was super pregnant. And I knew I was about to have a baby. So I didn't want to try to relearn it. So, recently, a week or two ago, I bought some knitting needles just to pick it back up again. Because there are some things that I want to learn how to knit, like socks and sweaters and stuff. So, I started with a dishcloth because that's like everybody's basic learning how to do stuff again. And it's just the simple one that everybody does. And I'll link the video below that I followed. Um, because I wanted a video tutorial on how to increase and decrease because I had forgotten. It's been so many years since I've done it. And I messed up on the beginning and the end <laughs> but I did good in the middle so this is the corner that I started in and the what I messed up in this corner is I forgot to increase a couple of rows so this corner is elongated it's longer than it should be and then I did good all the way through just the regular knit rows I'm trying to find a not so glary spot <laughs> and then at the end I messed up decreasing this part it looks wonky and it's also tiny. <laughs> I followed the pattern the way she did it on the video and it came out tiny. Uh, if Whenever I do this again, I'm going to make it much bigger. Because uh, I have some that were gifted to me with the same exact pattern. Um, different yarn though. This is like uh, the kind from Walmart. And whatever the other, the ones that were gifted to me is much softer and thinner cotton. But um, they're a lot larger and I'm, I'm going to make more that's bigger. But I think I did a decent job for not have doing it, not have done it for years. Um, I just forgot to increase a few times and then decreasing I messed up this very, this point. <laughs> but yeah, I think other than that it's pretty good. I think I may have forgot to decrease once. I don't know. But I'll save this. You know, I've already woven the ends. I just gotta wash it. And I'll probably use it like as a face cloth or something like that. Did I say face? Face cloth? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I liked it. It was alright. I do know that I don't like the knitting needles that I bought. Um, they're acrylic and so the yarn kind of sticks to them. But I think it's alright just as me uh, refreshing myself. And then once if I get more into knitting, I will uh, upgrade to metal ones. But yeah, so that's finished object number one. It looks horrible because of that lamp. It's nighttime here. I think I can kind of move it a little bit. <laughs> It didn't help. <laughs> oh well. Alright, and my crochet finished object. Uh, this was a spur of the moment. I'm trying to remember what day I made this on. I posted it on the Facebook group. I think it was last weekend. Or it might have been like Monday. <clears throat> I'm thinking it was last Sunday though. I can't remember. 
But, um, no, it wasn't Sunday. It was one day it was just me and Jesse here. It was a day that Devin was working. I don't know. But, but it's one of my fair projects. Um, I'm really behind on my fair projects this year, and it's just because of a lot of stuff that's been going on. I haven't really felt super motivated to crochet. <clears throat> and when I do crochet, I'm kind of forcing myself just to, like, distract myself from other things. <laughs> but, uh, so this is one of the projects for the fair. I've got, like, 40-something lots picked out, but I probably won't enter every one of them. Um... But I will enter this one because I already finished it. And it's Christmas stocking. This is a new pattern I found. Uh, I don't really know how to pronounce it. It's a Hermosa, maybe. Hermosa stocking by Laura Mae Finelli. It's a free pattern. I think it was a PDF download. I can't remember. But I thought it was really pretty. Dad gum this lighting. Let me see if I can mess with it. I'm not going to edit this at all. So. Well, maybe I should edit that out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I might edit that drop out. I might not. I'm going to leave it. <laughs> but it turned out way smaller than I thought. I mean, this is my head in it. But it's still cute. Uh, it's blown out a little bit. It's just Red Heart Super Saver White and Cherry Red. And it's a really cool stitch pattern. It looks, I think it looks more complicated than it is. But it's just puff stitches and then single crochet and double crochet. It's just really cute. It's made in one piece. You don't have to um, cut, you know, uh, stop to make the ankle, the little tiny <laughs> um, foot. What's it called? Heel. <laughs> you start down here and you work your way up. And it's just, it was a lot of fun. I liked it. It was super fast. I made it in one knot. I made pretty much all of it. I think I got up to the cuff when I had to stop to make dinner or something. And that's when I posted it on Facebook. And then later that night I actually finished it uh, after dinner. So, it was a really quick little thing. I made it with Jesse here, so it was mindless <laughs> so that I could pay attention with it. But, yeah, I really like this pattern. I'd actually like to make it again, but kind of tinker with it to make it bigger to be like a functional stocking because this, this wouldn't hold much at all. Um, this, to me, is more like a decorative stocking. But, yeah, I think it's cute, and it's a free pattern. Those are my finished objects for this week. Now, the only new whip that I started, I haven't touched the manatee, I haven't touched the shawl, I haven't touched that pillow, I haven't touched anything. Um, just because of so much stuff that's been going on. I did start a new one though, and it's actually going to be an afghan, probably for the fair. Um, I picked out some pretty kind of weird colors. I picked them out because, um, you know, it's starting to be warmer here, and um, so everything's motivating me to be summery, springy kind of stuff. So I picked out, I was trying to use stash yarn, and I got quite a bit of each of these colors so I wanted to go ahead, go ahead and use them um, so it's kind of it almost must be in the the mind of like 70s or 60s back when they used a lot of orange and green and yellow so um, this is going to be the Sophie's Universe it was a crochet along but it's uh, now it's basically like the Mandala Madness but smaller and I've been wanting to make another Mandela Madness, so I wanted to do something different. So I got this pattern. And I'm using Red Heart Super Saver Spring Green, Bright Yellow, and Pumpkin. So it's bright. <laughs> you can't see how bright it is because uh, it's dark here and I only have a yellow lamp. But uh, I'm on the second part of the cow, which is, I think, up through the 15th round. And what I'm doing is I picked out the three colors that I wanted to use and I'm using every time they change color on their um, crochet along, they use much more than three colors. I can't remember how many, like five or plus, but every time she changes colors in the cow, I change color. So it's all like one row up until here and then she had the same color two times or three times in a row. So I just went ahead and followed that with the orange and then. You know, doing that, I'm going to do that all the way up so that the stitches like these that go together to make one. Like, this is two different rows. I'm trying to focus. I'm so scatterbrained this last week. These are two different rows, but they're made in the same color so that when they're done, they look like one design. And so I'm trying to keep that the same <laughs> instead of just winging it and doing my own colors. But, yeah. So, I think it's looking good so far. Uh, I can't remember the size that it's going to be. It's not nowhere's, uh, it's nowhere near as big as the Mandala Madness. It's much smaller than that. But mine will come out larger because the pattern is written for, I think, DK weight. Um, 
yarn with a slightly smaller hook. I'm using worsted weight yarn and I think an H hook. Yeah. So mine will come out bigger than the pattern, but it won't come out huge, I don't think. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the Mendel, blah, blah. I cannot focus. I'm so scared y'all. You have to forgive me. Um, the Mandala Madness uh, turned out way bigger than I thought it was going to. But, uh, yeah. So, I really love these. This is really pretty in real life when you can actually see the color is good. But it reminds me of something from the 70s. Uh, and I like it. So, yeah, I can't wait to finish it. But, yeah, so that's the only active whip. Uh, I do want to hurry up and finish the Manatee. I might try to do that this weekend because I was contacted by someone on Instagram to do a test pattern for them. And they told me there was no rush because, um, they, you know, they contacted me out of the blue. They knew that, uh, you know, I couldn't just drop everything to do it. But I really want to make it because it's a cute pattern. So I'm going to try. I got the Manatee out right here. I want to try to fin finish him uh, this weekend. Maybe tomorrow evening. But, um... And then I can get started on that test pattern because I want to make it. And I think it'll be a pretty fast crochet thing. So when I film next, I may film sooner than a week away if I have the mental state to do it. This last week's been really rough. But um, as I'm sure you can tell, I'm really scattered brained. I can't focus on anything. But um, what was I saying? Test pattern. Uh, I will film sooner than a week away. And hopefully um, have more stuff. But, I mean, there's no pressure. There's, the only pressure that exists is the pressure that I put on myself. <laughs> so, because um, y'all don't really care what I make. <laughs> you just like watching what I do make. But, yeah. So, I'm going to... This, this is why I'm going to hurry up and do this tonight. Because I need a really good night's sleep without Jesse here. I love him to death. But I just need to sleep without worrying about him. And then tomorrow I can sleep in because he won't be here. And there's Pokemon Community Day is tomorrow. So me and Devin will go do that. Devin's off of work. So that's good. Uh, yeah. <sighs> I'm trying really hard to um, mellow out. Because I'm, I don't know if you guys have noticed this. Or uh, uh, the ones who know me <laughs> know that I'm like a control freak. So I'm trying to get over that. And it's harder than you would think. <laughs> but let's talk about bags. Um, I'm going to show the bags that I've made this last week and I did use a different uh, drawstring bag pattern because I was trying to find one that takes a little, little less time to make because the original pattern that I used is a little bit more time consuming than this one. I do like this new pattern but I'm not so sure everybody else will. Uh, it is just a sack. It's not box bottom. I could uh, box the bottom and I might try that next batch but this batch I was just trying this new pattern and I also did a new interfacing on the zipper pouches so uh, they're gonna be a little different but they're still the same sizes actually I think the um, drawstring bags are a smidge bigger than uh, original ones and uh, I have some zipper bags zipper project bags in my shop right now and they're um, interfaced with a thicker interfacing and then, then the next time I make zipper bags project bags I'm gonna try the thinner interfacing I'm just I'm just testing all these different things out so <laughs> if you order um, multiple bags at different times they might be a little bit different but uh, I'm just trying to find patterns that I like and can memorize and do quickly instead of ones that take forever to um, make <laughs> so these are the new ones I'll show it to y'all um, Let's see, I think there's 16 new ones, plus there's already a few in the shop. Ooh. Um, let's see, yeah, there's two of each, so let me just... This one, I love this print, personally. <laughs> this one is like a galaxy print. Really pretty. And what's different is on my old older bags, the um, drawstring casing would be like right here. And so there would be like this much lost base, it's like two inches. On these ones, I put the drawstring casing on the top so that you wouldn't lose the, um, they're like two inches of space. But they're still drawstring and it still closes. They're just sack and I probably can box the bottoms. I'll probably try that next time. But other than that, they're the same size. There are two of these Galaxy ones and they do have their Notion pouches. Let me find them. Just need one. And they are stiffer. I wanted to try to find a stiffer interfacing and I found a stiffer interfacing. I like it. I don't know if people will. I don't know when the reviews come in. <laughs> and then I have one set of this bag left because one did sell just a little while ago. 
And these are just flowers. <laughs> I love this color though. The color scheme is really pretty. You can't see the lighting. Oh, there it goes. It's like a navy blue with the flowers on it. It's really pretty. I think it's got an orange inside. Yeah. This one has a purple casing. The other one has the orange because um, since it's a different pattern, I didn't really know how to cut the yarn yarn uh, material. <laughs> so um, I didn't have enough of the orange to make two of the sets of drawstring casings. So, yeah. But it still matches. And then it's a little bag. What else? I should have organized these a little bit before I... Um, filmed. <laughs> The ever popular llamas. Got two of these in the shop. I think it's white on the inside. And then they have their little notion pouches. I love this print right here too. I think I called it sweets or something like that. But it's so summery. <laughs> I'm looking so forward to summer, but it's got all kinds of little sweet treats on it. Two of those and notion pouches. And then this one I think is really cute too. This is cactus. And kind of, it's cactus and kind of looks like a, some succulents on there. Pale pink. Whoosh, there we go. I think this is really cute. And notion patches. Uh, we've got some Beauty and the Beast. It's like a stained glass window. I've had that print before with Notion pouches. Okay. And then I got some Star Wars. Someone asked for Star Wars. I can't remember who. So I went ahead and grabbed some original Star Wars Notion pouches. And last but not least, I got two Sugar Skulls. These are more realistic looking sugar skulls than the last ones I had. They were more cartoony. And then they got notion pouches too, but I already threw them on the floor. Ugh. Notion pouch. <laughs> but yeah, so all of those are in the shop except one of the um, flowery ones. It already sold. Plus there's a couple of zipper project bags in there, I think. Three maybe? I can't remember. <laughs> but yeah, they're all in the shop right now and they're all 10% off until the end of March. So, uh, yeah. And also, interesting factoid about my Etsy shop. From now on, starting two days ago, all my Etsy shop money will be going to fund mine and Devin's wedding. <laughs> um, cash flowing it. So, yeah. So, that'll be interesting. <laughs> if, so, if you buy any bags um, from now until whenever, um, you'll help, you're helping pay for our wedding. <laughs> Which is going to be small. It's not going to be like an extravagant wedding. Uh, we've already got it planned uh we just gotta you know buy all the stuff for it but uh yeah so that's that's interesting and coming up <laughs> but yeah i think that's everything because i really need to take a nap or something well it's nine o'clock and i don't need to go to bed i'm just exhausted it's been a really long week and uh i just need to take a break <laughs> so i will see you guys in the next video which will probably be before another week um because i'm i don't know i can not i'm not gonna say anything like that because i don't know <laughs> I'm just kind of crazy lately, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hop off of here and rest because I need it. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.